Hey guys, while I don't shallow, six days to swearing in, Tinubu received heartbreaking message from court. See what will happen after inauguration. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians. The Presidential Election Petition Court has taken a significant step in the ongoing legal proceedings by consolidating all the petitions filed by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the Labour Party, and the Allied People's Movement, APM, along with their respective presidential candidates. This decision was announced by Justice Aruna. The chairman of the tribunal during the presidential the presentation of the court's pre-hearing report on Tuesday. Nigerians, the court has set May 30 as the date for the commencement of the trial in relation to the three petitions. During this trial, the petitioners will have the opportunity to present their evidence and call their first set of witnesses. This development marks a crucial phase in the legal process as the petitioners will be given the platform to substantiate their claims and challenge the outcome of the February 25th presidential election. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had declared Bola Tinubu the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of the election. Tinubu secured a total of 8,794,726 votes. Why Atiku Abubakar of the PDP received 6,984,220 votes. And Peter Obi, the Labour Party candidate, garnered 6,110,533 votes, according to the INEC chairman, Mahmoud Yakubu. With the consolidation of the petitions, all three parties now have the opportunity to present their cases collectively and contest the, val the validity of the election result. The court will thoroughly evaluate the evidence provided and assess its relevance to the claims made by the petitioners. During the proceedings held at the Court of Appeal in Abuja on Tuesday, it was specified that the Labour Party, along with its presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obey, has a three-week period to present their case and substantiate their claims. This time frame set the stage for the upcoming trial, during which the Labour Party will be required to provide compelling evidence to support the allegations of the electoral irregularities and or malpractices. The consolidation of the petition signifies a crucial step in the pursuit, the pursuit of justice and transparency in the electoral process. As the trial unfolds, the court will diligently examine the evidence presented by the petitioners and make a fair and impartial judgment based on the merits of the case. The decision reached by the presidential Election petition court will ultimately have far-reaching implications for the credibility of the electoral system and the democratic landscape of the nation. It is important to await the proceedings of the trial and subsequent deliberations of the court before drawing any definite uh, uh, definitive conclusions regarding the outcome of the petitions. The court's commitment to upholding the principles of justice and providing a fair platform for the petitioners to present their cases will be instrumental in resolving the electoral disputes, reaffirming the integrity of the electoral process in Nigeria. Well, we are watching to see the outcome of this. Nigerians, six days to swearing in, Tinubu receives heartbreaking message from court. What will happen after inauguration? 
The Presidential Election Petition Court has taken a significant step in the ongoing legal proceedings by consolidating all the petitions filed by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the Labour Party, and the Allied People's Movement, APM, along with their respective presidential candidates. This decision was announced by Justice Aruna, the chairman of the tribunal, during the presentation of the court's pre-hearing report on Tuesday. The court has set May 30 as a date for the commencement of the trial in relation to the three petitions. During this trial, the petitioners will have the opportunity to present their evidence and call their first steps of witnesses. This development marks a crucial phrase in the legal processes. As the petitioners will be given the platform to substantiate their claims and challenge the outcome of the February 25th presidential election, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had declared Bola Tinubu, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as the winner of the election. Tinubu secured a total of 8,794,500. 726 votes, I beg your pardon, Why Atiku Abubakar of the PDP received 6,984,520 votes, and Peter Obi, the Labour Party candidate, garnered 6,110,553 votes. With the consolidation of the petitions, all the three parties now have the opportunity to present their cases collectively and context the validity of the election results. The court will thoroughly evaluate the evidence provided and assess its relevance to the claims made, made by the petitioners. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for having you here. Bye for now.